Timur, and here is your question. Yes. Yes. Every... Just a few seconds left. You will hear the bell. Right. So if you have read and understood considering a critical care scenario, Kindly, please tell me, how are you going to manage this patient? I will manage this patient according to critical care of surgical ill patient. Yes. I will check the ABCDE approach. And first of all, I will check the cardiac status of the patient. I will give uh, injection 10 uh, percent uh, uh, injection uh, calcium gluconate 10 ml. And if the patient is improving, that's okay. If not, then I will give the uh, calcium gluconate infusion of this patient okay and uh, cardiac status is also will be checked yes in this way. anything if, else you'll yes uh, if there is a if there is a cardiac abnormality then i have to give a, a ins, insulin plus dextrose will be given to this patient Considering, oxygen oxy, yes, oxygen oxygen yes. and uh, oxygen will be given to this patient Considering the calcium levels uh, to be 1.7 millimole per liter, what do you, how do you interpret that? It is hypocalcemia, severe hypocalcemia. Okay, how Normal do you classify hypocalcemia? Or, yeah? Hypocalcemia is according to severe, moderate, and mild hypocalcemia, according to level, if it is... What is the normal uh, level of calcium? To, 2.2, 2.2 to 2.5. 5 millimole per liter. Yes. Okay. How, uh, considering this, how much or what percentage is present free in the body? 2% uh, 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 calcium is 1%. in this uh, serum. 1% uh, is and free. Yes. 1% is free. Half of this is free. What about what percentage is bound is present bound with albumin? Uh, I said that uh, ninety eight percent about two percent the, the blood in which a half is in with the albumin and half is free. Okay, that is corrected calcium. Corrected calcium. If a patient is suffering from uh, acidosis, uh, what would you in, uh, how would you expect calcium level to be? Uh, it is hypocalcemic. If it is acidosis, yes, hyperkalemia okay. and hypocalcemia. Yes, okay. Can you please tell me what might have caused this high, severe hypo, hypocalcemia in this patient? Uh, it causes neuromuscular excitation or neurological excitation, like carpopedal spasm, chemistic sign. No, what is the cause behind it? What might have led to this episode? It. Uh, 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 it, you have to read it, the stem. Patient underwent thyroidectomy. Thyroidectomy, yes. yes. It, it is due to uh, parathyroid uh, yes. uh, damage or removal, or, removal? Uh, re, or, or maybe vascularization is interrupted. These are the Ish, yeah, ischemia of the parathyroid. Yes. Okay, can you please tell me how this calcium is transported in the body? Cal calcium transported in the body, uh, we will. What do you mean? Uh, we will eat the calcium and it, it is absorbed uh, by the uh, gut or kidney by the parathyroid hormone vitamin D level. Vitamin D it, absorption will be and the uh, this is uh, body homeostasis, calcium homeostasis, bone reabsorption, osteoclastic activity. So serum calcium level will be maintained in the blood by three yes. these three routes. Yes. Okay, can you tell me what is the function of this calcium in the human body? Uh, 
why why do we need it what's it used for it, it is a, it is essential for neuromuscular excitation and uh, synapses neuron action and uh, uh, muscle contraction uh, muscle functions, contraction. blood yes. clotting secretion yes. of hormones yes cell divisions and even acts as a second messenger okay can you please tell me the synthesis of vitamin d uh, vitamin d uh, vitamin D uh, uh, is uh, initially it is a 25 hydroxy colicolciferol and it is changed in the kidney into 125 uh, hydro uh, dihydroxy colicalciferol and become active in the kidney. And it, we can absorb the 25 hydroxy colicolciferol from the UV lights also and, and the in diet also. Okay. Then. Uh, then uh, vitamin D causes uh, absorption of the calcium from the gut and yes. the renal tubules. Yes. Active form. Active. How, what is the uh, action osteoclastic, of... Osteoclastic. Yeah. Osteoclastic. Yeah, this is, uh, stimulates osteoclast uh, yes. for bone reabsorption because this is also kidney, intestines, and the bones. Okay. Can you please tell, tell me uh, which, uh, since this patient is uh, having carpopedal spasm, so which muscle you'll worry more about for hypocalcemic tetany? In carpopedal spasm, uh, wrist will, will be in flexion form. And, no, uh, think, think. I said patient is already having because of hypocal hypocalcemia. Carpopedal yeah. syndrome or carpopedal spasm, but which muscle in particular you'll be worried about for this technique, hypocalcemic technique? Hypocalcemic technique. Uh, uh, which muscle should not undergo this event? Uh, uh, um, uh, flexors you, muscles of flexors of the, the wrist. Diaphragm. Come on, Diaphr think. Or intercostals, respiratory muscles. Okay, out of right. the hand. Yeah, yes. uh, other than hand, because this other is hand. what is happening. It's not lethal, but which respiratory muscles, if they undergo, then that can be lethal. Okay, can you please tell me uh, what is the normal action or the function of parathyroid glands? Uh, parathyroid gland uh, causes uh, uh, activate vitamin D also, and it uh, causes. Uh, calcium absorption from the gut, renal tubules, and uh, osteoclastic activity of the bones. Increase okay. osteoclastic. These uh, are the three functions. How would you define calcitonin? Calcitonin is uh, secreted from parafollicular C cells, which, is, which are present in the thyroid gland, and it is opposing TH action. It causes bone calcium deposition of the bones. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me the exact mechanism of parathyroid gland, which causes phosphate excretion through the kidneys? Uh, 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 parathyroid gland, uh, which secretion from the kidney? Madam? Which phosphate, phosphate excretion. Uh, uh, parathyroid gland act on the vitamin D level and it activates the 25 uh, hydroxy to 125 dihydroxy colicalciferol. But there is reabsorption of phosphate from the proximal tubules, Phosph and then what happens? Yes. Yes, it is parathyroidism against the phosphate. It is phosphouric. Phosph phosphate will be uh, excreted, and the calcium will be reabsorbed from yes. the proximal tubule. It is against the phosphate. Yes, I asked you excretion in the kidney, so it's. Yes, yes it, it, it is proximal tubule. It will happen. Yes, good. All right. Let me have a look if there are some more questions. Right. Okay. A patient with hypocalcemia suddenly becomes, uh, suddenly undergoes shortness of breath. Which muscle do you think is affected? As you have seen previously, there may be diaphragm, may be intercostal muscle paralysis. Lingo. Laryngospasm. Yes, laryngospasm. So, uh, so all of a sudden, patient is gasping, has, has shortness of breath. So these are the laryngospasm. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what are the signs of hypocalcemia? Signs. Signs. 
uh, yes, signs. Uh, a patient have uh, dysphagia, seizures. Uh, and, uh, begins, there's a special word, begins with T and begins with C. Uh, there may be a difficulty in breathing, uh, laryngeal spasm and uh, convulsions and uh, uh, patient uh, may be dysphagia and uh, uh, these are the things. Uh, yeah, there, there is special tatini, tatini, arrhythmias. arrhythmias. Begins with T and begins with C. B, uh, begin B and begin with C. Okay, I'll tell you. Right. Thank you. Started your timer and here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it is to take next patient, kindly begin. Uh, hello, I'm one of the surgical doctors. May I confirm your name and age, please? Yes, I am Jane. I'm 67, yes. Hello, nice to meet you. So, uh, may I confirm what brings you here in the hospital? Yes. Uh, what brings you here in the hospital? I uh, just experienced some sort of headache accident started two months ago. So now this is becoming more uh, severe. And also that I have just uh, last night, I have experienced some sort of abnormal movement over my arm. It's almost like fits, I think. Okay, I'm so sorry to hear about that. It must have been very difficult for you. Can I ask you some further questions regarding your problems? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you please describe the event? I mean, what exactly happened at that time and what you were doing at that time? Yeah, I was walking down the street and suddenly I experienced this, like, uh, just all my right upper arm was shaking. And this action is lasting, like, maybe two to three minutes. Just, and then, uh, yeah. That's what I remember. Okay. So have you experienced any uh, un unusual feelings or any warning signs before this episode? Like you yeah, were anxious or- I felt like, yeah, yeah, I was aware of my heartbeat. Oh, you, you had increased heartbeat, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. So uh, did you experience loss of consciousness uh, during this episode no okay so after, after uh, so ha have you had any uh, his history of trauma to your head no no doctor okay so uh, while you were seizing uh, were you able to talk uh yeah I just actually I was I think I was confused at that moment. Okay. And have you noticed that your eyes and head was debated to the one side? Mm, no, but I experienced like uh, some sort of excessive eye blinking. Is it? Okay. And uh, have you noticed your lips were smacking? Or did you pass urine or swell yourself at that time? No, no. All right. So, 
after the end of this attack, how you were feeling at that time? Were you confused or drowsy or your muscles were aching at that time? Actually, I, I couldn't remember this, but um, yeah, my friend told me that all once is happening. All right. All right. So uh, how frequently you experience uh, such type of uh, attacks? I mean, such type of episodes? Yeah, actually, this is the second time I experienced this doctor. Okay, so is there any variation from, from the previous one? No, it's, it's the same, actually. All right. So uh, have you noticed any triggering factor which has which which could lead to this uh, seizures? I mean, lack of uh, sleep deprived, uh, lack of sleep, alcoholism, or any stress or any kind of medicines? No. Okay. So, uh, have you noticed any um, headaches? Yeah, as I mentioned to you. Or visual disturbances uh, yeah, or dizziness? Headache associated with this. You experience headaches, right? Yes. And for how long you are experiencing this? Just two months ago. Okay. And uh, have you noticed any episodes of vomiting? No. Okay. And if, any kind of visual disturbances you have experienced in, in these two months? No, no. Okay. Have you experienced any increased sensitivity to the light or neck stiffness or rashes over your body? No, doctor. All right. So, okay, did, uh, okay, so have you met GP in the past for any, any other medical conditions like diabetes mellitus, hypertension? Mm, I'm only diabetic doctor. So, you're, you're a diabetic, right? Yeah, I, I'm diabetic and I visit my GP for regular follow up. Okay. So, uh, are you taking any medicines for it? Yes, I'm taking insulin. Can you tell me the dose? Do you remember it? I take 10 units at the morning and 5 at the night. Okay. And are you allergic to any drugs? No. Or have you undergone any surgery in the past? No, doctor. Okay, I would like to ask you some personal questions. Uh, what is your occupation? Yes, please. Can you... uh, I'm a hairdresser. Can you summarize your live... history now, please? Uh, uh, yes, ma'am. 67 year old female pre uh, presented with a uh, with the attacks, uh, two uh, two episodes of right upper arm uh, seizures, and uh, which was preceded with the uh, uh, which. And um, before it, there was a, uh, uh, she experienced heart uh, palpitations before that. And there is a no, there is a no history of loss of consciousness. And there is a positive history of headaches, which she is experiencing from last two months. And the patient is diabetic. There's a, no history of any trauma to the head. There is no history of any, uh, any meningitis. There is no history of, uh, uh, cere cerebral vascular accident. So my top differential will be the focal partial seizures. Uh, it could be uh, as the patient is having headaches, it could be because of any sp space occupying lesion. Or secondarily, I would like to uh, uh, go for the uh, myoclonus or any metabolic disorders. Uh, Since like, patient is diabetic, okay. Can can you please tell me what are the investigations you'll ask for for this patient? Yes, first of all, to rule out any metabolic disorder, I will go for the blood investigations, which will include yes. the uh, blood glucose levels, uh, electrolyte levels, and uh, urea uh, and creatinine, uh, urea creatinine, uh, CBC, uh, LFTs and KFTs. Um, then uh, and to rule out infection, I would like to go for the lumbar puncture or blood cultures and uh, ABGs. And to confirm it's in seizure, we can also go for the prolactin levels. And EEG we can do in the outpatient clinic. 
and CT head, I would like to go if I'm uh, looking for an intracranial hemorrhage or there or okay. if there is a, any space of cobain lesion or or uh, or there is an neurological deficit along yes. with that. So and MRI patient. Yes. And, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, and MRI after having a discussion with the neurologist. Okay, right. Can you tell me what treatment can you offer this patient right now? Uh, if the patient is seizing, first of all, I will take the patient to the safe place and make a recovery position if it is possible. Then I will, uh, uh, I will, I will look, uh, I will look for the progression of the episode. And in the meanwhile, I will prepare for the postictal phase and I will follow the ABCD protocol. Yes. And I will offer, offer the benzodiazepine to, I will stabilize the first patient by giving proper oxygenation and the fluids. Uh, if the patient is stabilized, uh, then I will offer benzodiazepine to prevent the further attacks. And if the patient is in status epilepticus, and that means the patient is actively seizing for more than 30 minutes and he is not gaining any uh, consciousness level. So in that case, I'll follow the ABCD protocol, uh, proper oxygenation, IV fluids, and I will consider for the intubation. And uh, there I will uh, go for the, uh, and there I will go for the Dizy Palm uh, IV, 15, uh, 15 to 20 milligram. And okay. if, and phenytoin 18 to 20 yeah. milligram at the rate of 25 milligram per minute. And if we are suspecting for a uh, underlying cause as a brain sp space occupying lesion, we can go for stereotactical biopsy and surgical uh, debulking of the tumor. After discussing it with MDT. Uh, yes, after discussing with the new yes. surgeon. Good. Multidisciplinary narrating MDT. Okay, good. Thank you. It and started the timer. Here is your question. Hello, ma. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it surgical and optimization, kindly please tell me if you can identify these structures from A to H. What is A, please? Okay. Uh, uh, yes, A is uh, the pul uh, sorry, pulmonary trunk. B, please. Uh, auricle of right atrium. C, please. Uh, I left it, uh, left a descending uh, coronary artery. Uh, it's not artery. What is this? Uh, so Ridge. Interventricular, uh, atrioventricular system. No, I think. Must no. Be in it. Yeah. D, please. What is C? Yeah, C is musculopectinate of right ventricle. Yes. I can't hear you. Muscular what? Muscular pectinate of right ventricle. Muscular pectinate? Ah. Yes. Okay. And D, please. D. Uh, D is the corda tendine or the tricuspid fault. Tricuspid fault. Look closely. The picture is big enough. Uh, it's not clear. Uh, it's, uh... Yeah, because I enlarged it. Maybe that's why. Okay. If you can identify E, please. Uh, e is, uh, 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 is uh, aorta. Okay, F, please. E is pulmonary uh, trunk. Palmer. What? This is right, e. atrium, so this is e. pulmonary trunk. 
is common trunk. Yes. Yes. If. Uh, if is uh, in, in fundiblum of. Uh, uh, sorry, it is uh, left ventricle. Left auricle. Right. Left auricle. Okay, G. Um, now it is which vessel? Yes, descending. Left is descending. Okay. LED, LED, left and yeah. descending. Yes. Okay, can you please identify this circled structure here in the left picture, 90? Nine, Nine? Yes, 19. Nine, nine. With nine. my cursor. Nine. Where is my cursor? Uh, yeah, here. Where is nine? I can see nine. Yes, here. Circled. Circle. Red circle. Red circle. Just now. Nine. Uh, yes, uh, sorry. Uh, nine is the uh, uh, pulmonary trunk. Okay. Seven? Um, in from the blum, so the four, four, please. Uh, right, oracle, right, oracle. okay. One, please. Okay. Uh, try cast the 12. Is it try cast the 12? Okay, five. Uh, call the thing in two, please. The pillar muscle, very good. Okay, moving on to right hand side picture. If you can identify 25. These are the ones, to... yes, they ask in the exam. Yes, we can occur. Three. Um, three is the uh, our turn. Five, please. Uh, Oracle of right atrium. 17. Almanry trunk. 18, please. Uh, right atrium. All right, and here it's right ventricle. All right, yeah. Okay, can you tell me how many cups there are for aortic valve? Yes, all aortic valve three. Three? Yes. How? From uh, where they arise? Uh, they uh, arise from uh, the there is anterior and posterior cus. Okay, can you please tell me? Uh, where would you auscultate for pulmonary valve? Uh, pulmonary valve uh, auscultation, yes, yes. Uh, at the second right left intercostal space. Okay. Parasternal line. Yes. What is the level of the pulmonary trunk division? Uh, uh, trunk T5. Can you tell me, please, the blood supply of the heart? Uh, yes, right and left coronary artery from the uh, coronary sinus. Yes. Okay. Can you also write, can you tell me if you can, this is a very complicated picture, but uh, let's see if you can quickly highlight or quickly identify the major things. Okay. Can you identify number five, please? Um, five is um, atrium, uh, aorta. Is Four, please. Pulmonary trunk. Okay, can you write if any other things you can identify here? Uh, Which seven. D is what? D, where is D? Uh, yes, it is yes. Le left anterior descending guard. Okay, on behind this white interrupted line could be which one? A white, this white line. Uh, oh, I can't. Uh, Can you tell me about the zygus? A zygus? Uh, or, yeah, there is another thing. Wait, I have to ask you. Uh, this actually is on the other side. That's why you are seeing it in a air, uh, dotted arrow. So would you be able to tell oh, the what is the vessels on the other side? Um, uh, no, I can't. No. Okay. Is it circumflex and posterior descending? Yes. yes. 
I'm looking for the heart. If I could get more questions. And seven is the brachiocephalic, 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 and uh, eight is the left. Okay, they will ask you to identify a zygous vein, but I don't know, I don't have that structure in front of you. Okay, can you please tell me what are the functions of cord tendine? Uh, yes, uh, it prevents the, uh, the valve to attract as valve develops. Okay, uh, how many branches does the sending yota have? How, how many branches? What? what? Ascending aorta? Yes. yes, ascending aorta has uh, 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 right and left coronary. Uh, Can you please tell me the tributaries of the coronary veins? Tributaries of coronary vein? Yes. Um, no, a bus. No, I can learn here. This pericardial yes. pericardial vein and uh, mediastinal vein and uh, great, middle, and small corner, and then oblique, and then they all. Vein. Where do they all open? Uh, they all empty into the right atrium. Yes, yes. Except it's for right the intercardic vein. Where does the intercardic vein drains? Anterior cardiac vein uh, yes. to the. Uh, you have to revise this. Okay, can you please tell me um, about uh, what can you tell me about the SA node? SA node is supplied by which vessel? SA node. SA node is supplied by which vessel? Uh, yes, SA node by. Um, um, right coronary artery, 60%, right coronary. left circumflex, 40%. Yes. And then AV node is uh, right coronary artery, 90% of the circumflex, 10%. Yes. What is the function of SA node? Content. Function? Sinoatrial. Function, node. yes. yes. Uh, uh, for autonomic, autonomic function, for autonomic reflexes. No. So, uh, no, so no. Yes, we'll revise this. The form part is Yes. Thank you.